Hello everyone, welcome back to another clip here on Play on GAA. This clip is taken from the last video with GAA Statsman. This here is a debate about when the club championships should begin. Me and Matt debate whether or not the club championships should all start on the same day, or whether they should all take on their own pattern. What do you think? Do you agree that all the club championships should start at the same time, or do you think that they should all follow their own structure? Let us know in the comments below. And please consider subscribing and liking the video. Now enjoy the clip. Yeah, it's a very good point that you make about lacking the match sharpness. I just wonder, do you think that the, the GA itself should kind of overlook these things and say, nah, every club championship has to start at the same time so that we can all go into Leinster, you know, with no advantages, no disadvantages? Or do you think that it should be left to the county boards themselves? an interesting question actually like there is some good points made by the way for county board by having this championship in hurling very early because there are some clubs that are dual main clubs being shell believers who won the hurling championship in 2020 the football championship in 2021 there are some definite dual clubs but you're always going to get dual clubs throughout the country like there is plenty of them in Tipperary plenty of them in Cork plenty of them in Dublin like you're always going to get them dual clubs and it's just the way it is. It's just the G in general. And I suppose Lockmore Castelloni is the main example of this, how to balance hurling and football or else like in Cork, Douglas putting all their eggs into one basket in football or football and hurling. Like Kilbico Crokes is another example, having separate players for the hurling, separate players for the football. You have to play one sport. But I suppose with Wexford, the argument is the population isn't there. And there is some good arguments made having the Horny Championship early, but I think Leinster J has to come in, come in somehow because this will hurt the progress of the Leinster Horny teams going forward if this is going to continue because their championship, I think, was way too early. Carlos was the same. I think Mount Leinster Rangers won their championship. Or it was around the same time as the Wexford Championship anyway. That was back in September after the weekend after the Kabogi final, I think it was, or maybe it was the weekend of the other Kabogi final between Godman and Cork. And Mount Leinster Rangers are playing Ballyhale next week. That could be a hammering. And we could be going back to the same argument again. So I think Leinster Hurling has to step in somehow. The Hurling, the Hur GA has to step in in general as well. And to stop these things from happening. So like Because if Mount Leinster Rangers get hammered by Ballyhale next Saturday, Saturday at 2 o'clock I think there will be question marks over this and it will this argument will go on long into the night we'll see about that result next weekend but for rapperies I thought it was very unfortunate the way things unfolded but as we've rightly said Klopp Balakola were the better team and they rightly go through but the GA needs to think about this in the future rather than thinking about having two captains lift cups or something like that think about serious issues like this one yeah, and I was thinking about, you know, how the GEA could market that. I was thinking, I love this idea, and I don't know why the GEA doesn't do this, but I love this idea of an opening day. Like, you know how in the Premier League, they'll have all the matches on, you know, this is the weekend where it all kicks off. And I would love that in the club championship if there was one weekend where, if it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, say, where every single club championship in the country got underway. And I think that would be like a, a, a carnival of a weekend across the country. I think the coverage, I think the marketing, I think it would just do wonders for the GA, in my opinion. The way that they started off, I mean, yes, there are so many championships, so many county boards to negotiate with, but the GA does have a body to organize these things. And I think if they're looking purely at it from a marketing point of view, from a coverage, from publicity, getting eyeballs on the sport, having a weekend, which is like lift off weekend, like in every major sport pretty much across the world they have their opening day the way that the GEA does it is each county kind of gets off to their own start so you look at Dublin and they're at the quarterfinals you look at you know Waterford and the hurling final has already played it's already finished before we even know who the semi-final pairings are in Dublin I would rather that every team sorry that every county kind of got to the same stage at the same time I feel like that would build the anticipation better because you're watching the teams coming to collide at similar stages rather than saying, okay, now there's a Clare hurling final and Ballygun are, are waiting to play the winner. I would rather that they were both played on the same weekend. And 
I think would be better for the GAA if there was just an opening day similar to the Premier League, similar to the NBA, similar to lots of other sports across the country. I just think it would better suit the GAA from a marketing point of view, from a publicity point of view. Yeah, I suppose there's the argument as well that um, the Wexford Horrors went out early and that's why their championship started so early. The footballers the same. I suppose the Watford Hurling Championship, I think, started a bit too early after they went out in the all semi semifinals. They should have left it maybe two weeks after they went out in the all semi semifinals. Or, say, the Cork Football Championship should have started once the Hurlers, which it, which it did this year in fairness. So, in some ways, it was correct. But whenever whenever it can, if you if you know what I'm saying, like the Limerick and Cork, Limerick and Cork reached the all the final, for example, I think their championships in football and hurling should start the same week, if you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And then they can go on into the winter, if you know what I'm saying there. The same with Mayo and Tyrone. The same with Dublin and Kerry, who woke and knocked out the other semi finals in football. They should start in the same weekend. But I get the arguments that they have to, them kind of championships have to start out once their inter county teams go over the championship. They have to get things done early. Like you have to take into consideration as well. The winter months, there's going to be snow. There's going to be more COVID cases as well, which is the world we live in right now. That needs to be taken into consideration as well. These players can't play week in, week out. If they're dual players, especially the likes of the McGraths, the likes of the Cadigans and Cork, they can't keep playing week in, week out. They have other lives as well. You have to respect that. And so in some ways, it's run its own grand, but... An opening weekend for all. Uh, I don't know what you think about this, uh, Seamus. The G uh, championships in various counties starting once their county sides have gone out of the all Do you think that should stay? Or do you think there should be a weekend where all the championships start across the board? I would be more in favour of a weekend where they all start across the board. Just because the fact that when you've got the smaller counties, you know, the likes of a Carlo. I think they're always going to go out before Dublin go out. And I feel like in Dublin, there was a massive problem. I'd say it's similar enough in Cork that, say for a Ballymun Kickham side, 2020 was a year when Ballymun Kickhams really came to the fore and they showed the talent that they had in their club. But that was because the players got a lot of time to kind of settle back into club football. Whereas in previous years, Ballymun Kickhams got John Small, Paddy Small, Dean Rock, James McCarthy. Evan Comerford, they got them all back too late. It was like they were trying to fit them into a team that, you know, that they weren't used to playing for almost. They didn't have time to really bond them with the team. I think that there should be a set date, like, and have it marked off in the calendar almost that every GA fan who loves the club game almost more than the county game itself, that they can say, right, this is the weekend where it all kicks off on the football side. This is the weekend where it all kicks off on the hurling side. I think it would be better suited to the game but I understand the point of starting when the county gets knocked out but I don't know I think it would be an interesting thing to try out even for a year yeah I suppose you can try it out for a year like things need trials after all and I suppose you make good arguments there but um, my argument back to you then is the match sharpness will come back into it as well like if Carlo goes with the Hurling Championship which they nearly do every year go out early or the football championship and their championship starts late, way later than um, than expected. Then the March chartless won't be there. The club championship games will be iffy to say the best, to say the least. Um, it'll take a few weeks for club players to get up to speed with everything. So match chartless, there's an argument that goes reverting back as well, whether the match chartless will be there. Like, like the horrors will go out, let's say, in June. It'll be May next year. Buff Vega was mentioning this on Snapchat last night. And then the Carlo Championship starts, let's say, August. So that'll be a whole two months without hurling for them type of players. And um, I don't think the match sharpness will be there. Um, there could be a result of a lot of injuries because training is obviously not the same as matches. The matches are, are very intense. Training, yes, they're intense enough. But you can't get really into real match situations in training, if you know what I mean. And you have to go into gyms and you just won't get the match sharpness. And it could result in more injuries as well. Like you've seen in the Premier League, for example, after COVID, a lot of injuries were happening. There was lockdown 
And then there was a lot of injuries. And we were thinking, what's the problem? It's lockdown. It's match sharpness. And I think that probably could be the same at the club championships. I don't know what you think about that yourselves. Could that be a problem as well? It could be, but my kind of counter to that would be that the league matches will still be going on. I mean, in Dublin, the league matches end in, in late July, August, and then the championship kicks off in September, October. So that would be my kind of counter to that, is that the league matches will still be going on. And if aside from Carlo, say, get knocked out, if aside like Carlo get knocked out of the championship, then the club players can go back and play the league games for their club to kind of retain that match fitness, hopefully. I know that every county kind of has their timetable differently and maybe the league ends sooner in other counties than it does in others. But if the league matches were still going on, I think that could serve as kind of a healthy maintenance until the championship itself kicks off. Yeah, you made a good argument there about the league, but I suppose once you get the championship games, I think there still will be more injuries. The league games won't be as intense because players or managers won't put their eggs in the basket for the league. Like their main aim is to win the championship. And I see that myself with uh, West Car Clubs down here, they they only put out second string teams or try out new players in the league. The championship is the be all and end all. And I I just think it will still result in more injuries because the games will be more tense. But I suppose you make a good argument that there still is going to be league games. I suppose we have to agree to disagree on this one. But I still think it'd be probably better just to start the championships early as earlier than expected if a team goes out of the All-Ireland earlier than expected, for example. And I think stick to that. But maybe it won't be a ha- won't be harm to try this for one year and see how it works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, it could result in serious injuries and I suppose that would be a real failed project then, but I suppose it's it's grand to try it out. I suppose you'd be up for it. I'd be up for a little bit of a change as well, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it would be interesting to see, and I'm, I'm fully aware and fully kind of happy to accept that maybe it wouldn't work, but it's, I think it's a nice idea that, you know, the Premier League, the way that they can market that as, you know, being the opening day where everything kicks off and every team starts, from the from the same line and here we go but i think it would be an interesting one to try but i'd be more than happy to accept if you know if it wasn't going to work 